So this gas limit error is quite unusual. It's depend on the smart contract code execution. Sometime I'm getting this error, sometime I'm not getting. So it's always better that we have to add a gas limit in our contract and the function call. In this video, we'll try to understand that how we can deal with the most common error when you try to make the transaction and you get this error, gas limit, gas limit. Sometime you get, sometime you may not get. But this one is the most irritating part in the smart contract and when you connect your wallet with the metamask so that's the error we're going to fix it so this is the project which we have built this is the last project we have built it's called tracking so i hope you guys have already followed this project and you know that what we have built so in this i'm going to show you the example of this that how you can tackle this gas limit error so right now you can see that when i'm making this transaction so if i come here if i try to create create a uh, shipping i can pick the date whatever date i want i can pick the distance i can take the price and i can make the transaction you can see this time the transaction is happening very smoothly we have no more error but if i start this and if i paste the address if i provide the id so i have to start the shipment and this is the logic we have built so click on this and this time i think i got an error so i'll do the inspect element and try to find out that what's the problem i have so here i got this error okay you can see so this gas limit error is quite unusual it's depend on the smart contract code execution sometime i'm getting this error sometime i'm not getting so it's always better that we have to add a gas limit in our contract and the function call so you can see right now i'm getting this error so i can show you that how you can fix that so if i reload the browser and try to start the shipment one more time so this is the function i have to call start shipment let's try to call it and let's try to check this time we are still getting the same error and you can see still we are getting the same error that means we have to tackle this error and that's a very easy fix so let's come back to my code and this is what you have to fix so this is the function we have this is called get shipment this is the complete shipment and here we have the function call start shipment so if i open this you will find that this is the function we are calling here we are interacting with our smart contract and that we are passing the address of the person who is calling this function then we have the recipient and then we have the index value so here we have to set the gas limit and sometime you will get more error so right now we are facing gas limit error but sometime you will get the same error message and that will be related to gas only so you, all the configuration you can do right up here so this is how you can do it so i have already done that configuration so i'll come here and here you can see this is the gas limit i have provided so i'll simply grab that one and that's the exact thing i have to pass here I'll simply pass here, come here, and here I have defined the gas limit. So this one is the ideal value which you can assign as a gas limit, but you should always have to play with this number because there is no fixed number which can tackle this gas limit error, okay? If you give too much, it will cause overflow, okay? You will get an overflow error so this is the ideal value i found and i whatever project i have built whatever tracking i have done i found that this value shoots a lot okay so if i save it if i come back to the application if i reload that and if i try to clear my metamask so it's always better that you have to clear your history whenever you get any error so this is how i can do it so where it is come to the settings and Recently, MetaMask have made the changes. So earlier we had this account reset, but now we have clear activity tab data. So click on this and you can reload the browser. Right now you can see we are connected with the application and now we can start calling this function. So this is for the get shipment. You can pass the ID and you can get the data. So if we pass zero, call that, we can get the data. You can see, I believe that you guys have built this project. This one is absolutely amazing okay so now what i will do i'll call this function start shipment provide the address of that wallet and i'm going with account one and i'll click on this set details and here you can see we are interacting with the metamask click on confirm and the transaction went through you can see we have fixed that issue so if i scroll down here you can see that we are have this one in transmitter we have changed the status so this is how you can set the gas limit you can you can play with this value try to find out that what value suits for you okay sometime it will take a little higher sometime it will take a little less depending on the work and depending on the data which you are passed into the smart contract so that's a very easy fix i hope you guys have followed this project because in that we have tried to tackle this errors and a lot of errors like this in the contract in this project so make sure to follow this project to have a better understanding so we have used this gas limit in this start function we have used here as well in the complete shipment function so this one is amazing project i would recommend you to come and build this project this will give you a very idea 
good idea that how you can create a dab like this where you can set the gas limit and tackles a, like unusual error which generally will happen when you will interact with a smart contract and when you will try to make the data change in the contract okay so hope this things make sense to all of you guys if you still have any doubt any query and one of you have got stuck because of this gas error and i was not getting time to make a tutorial on this but finally the video is here i hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have any question and doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help in that have a wonderful day bye bye